the more and more I think that this country is just done, they just go one step further. So you know what this is, right? From the Southern District of New York, the United States Attorney's Office. Florida residents plead guilty to conspiracy to commit interstate transportation of stolen property. Oh my God, it sounds serious. I wonder what that's about. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Please follow filing of criminal uh, of criminal information alleging defendant stole property belonging to immediate family member of a then former government official. Oh, must be serious, right? Well, y- y'all know what this is about, right? Yeah, Ashley Biden, the quote unquote stolen diary, which wasn't stolen because it was left behind somewhere. We suspect you're going to see where this is good. This is going, right? Um, let's see. Here we go. Damien Williams, uh, the United States attorney for the Southern District of New York and Michael J. Driscoli, assistant director in charge of the New York office of the FBI as asshole announced that Amy Harris and Robert Kurlander pled guilty to conspiracy to commit interstate transportation of stolen property involving theft of a personal belongings of an immediate family member of a then former government official who was a candidate for national office. Potato minimus. Harrison Kurlander pled guilty today before the United States Magistrate George, uh, Judge Sarah L. Cave. Why does that name sound familiar? And will be sentenced by Chief United States District Judge Laura Taylor Swain. Harrison Kurlander stole property from an immediate family member of a candidate for national po- political office. They sold the property to an organization in the United in New York for $40,000, which is Project Veritas, and even returned to take more of the victim's property when asked to do so. Harrison Kurlander sought to profit from their theft of another person's personal property and now stand convicted of a federal felony as a result. Boys and girls, it gets better. If you come down to the last page here of my printed out document, it says uh, what their the maximum sentence could be up to five years, which they might get. Um, the maximum potential sentence in this case is prescribed by Congress and provided here for inter- informational purposes only, as sentencing of the defendants will be determined by the judge. Under the terms of their plea agreements, Harris and Kurlander each agreed to forfeit $20,000 and Kurlander agreed to cooperate with the government. So, boys and girls in Lazo land, who do you think they're going... <laughs> that Kurlander guy, who is he going to flip for? Obviously, he's flipped for the government. But who do you think he's going to point his fingers at? Project frickin' Veritas. There you have it, folks. Anybody else in the world that their diary was just left behind, someone took it up and had some juicy material in it. Matter of fact, it has some felonious material in it, accusing the sitting, acting person who's occupying the White House of wrongdoing. But now, the federal government, right this fucking moment, is going to go after Project Veritas. And for what? A stolen diary with some salacious, you know, topics in it? That's it. Not a murder. No, 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 no. At least, at least they got to the bottom of that, right? Right? And I always say this, and I will continue to say this. They're going to come after you one day. They're going to come after me one day. The government... Has it out for anybody right side of Pol Pot, Lenin, and Stalin. If you dare question our government. If you dare malign our government anyway. And call them a bunch of assholes and corrupt pieces of shit. They're going to come after you. They're coming after you. They will. This is the definition of a banana republic. One. When we left Afghanistan last year. It was a fucking debacle. Did, uh, did our news agencies, the mainstream media, did they go after the president? No, because they were for the president. And what happens now? They raid Mar-a-Lago. For what? 
information, some declassified documents that, what I just said, they're declassified as per executive privilege. Oh no 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 no! We need we need to, we need to raid a former president's home, uh, former president's home, for said documents. For what? Who knows? And then this stupid goddamn potato is going to forgive up to $20,000 in student debt. Obviously, it's going to affect inflation. That's what a banana republic does right before an election. They give some of the normies out there and some independent folks out there, hey, listen, you better keep voting for Democrats because we will keep helping you out by negating debt or giving you money or whatever. Don't vote for those evil Republicans. Yeah, they're saying you should just pay that loan off your shelf. How dare you? How bigoted of you for you to suggest that I pay a loan off that I agreed to pay? Oh, how goddamn dare you? And now this. Project Veritas is next. And after Project Veritas, could be you. Could be me. Could be really anybody. Could be. The government is coming after us. Believe that. Oh, and by the way, what do you think those 87,000 IRS agents are going to do? Oh, they're only going after the billionaires. Oh, how many billionaires are there? 100? So you need 87,000 IRS agents after 100 people? It seems like a, a waste of manpower. I'm sorry, of people power. Huh. Well, who do you think they're going to go after? You. Me. Everybody. Understand that this government that's currently occupying the White House, in the halls of Congress, in the senatorial chambers, maybe even the judicial branch, they all hate you. They, but... They want your money every April 15th. Don't get me wrong. They they hate you until they need your money. Because you can't just run the government with billionaires' money. Because if you took all the billionaires' money for one year, well, guess what? You're only going to run the government for, what, three months? If that? Perhaps. <laughs> you didn't realize that... You, you and the middle class, that's who they're going to come after with those IRS agents, right? Well, the president said it, Janet Yellen said, they're not coming after us. Well, now, well, think about what the, what the goddamn potato said during his campaign. Student loan forgiveness? Oh, no, 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 no. Nancy Pelosi? Oh, no, he, the president doesn't have the power to do that until he did it. And then Nancy Pelosi goes, yeah, that's fine. The government fucking hates you. The news media hates you. And this is to include, to include, by the way, Republicans and Democrats, they hate you. This is why we need to elect Republicans who are not tied into the system, which is fucking hard, and I get it. So I guess I'll hold my po whole point here with Renette's story about the Southern District of Newark, actually Biden's diary, and those two people being sentenced our government is fucking corrupt who the fuck goes after a fucking diary why do you think this is happening Biden was <laughs> embarrassed and made to look like a piece of shit well he is a piece of shit so this is why the, just the justice department is going after those two people and in turn that guy's flipping. Curlander is going right after Project Veritas. Holy crap. Holy crap. I mean... I, I'm at a loss for words, man. I am at a loss for words. I mean, what, what, what are we supposed to do? Well, for one thing... And I'll give you, I'll give you some short-term solutions right now. Is that one? Do not get pissed off 
because there's nothing you really can do about it. It may feel hopeless, but what the government wants you to do, and it's why they're putting all these bulletins out there with all the shit going on, don't make any hot takes or hot posts on Twitter or Facebook. Don't do anything like that. Internalize all of this. If you're pissed off, don't show it. Don't post about it. Don't 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 even send a text message to a friend going, hey, this is mad, this is fucked up. Because that creates a record. Just don't do it. Whatever you do, don't get violent. That's what they want you to do. So they can make press conferences and say, you see the right wing is all pissed off with the government system, deep government for the people. Right. If the government was for the people, then you wouldn't be going after two people who sold a diary they found in an empty room or some shit. Whatever. This, we're at a time in, right now in this country where everything is fucked the fuck up. Everything is fucked up. Who's to blame? Well, right now, the goddamn potato is to blame. And the Democrats and the liberals. Until the pendulum, can, politically speaking, of course, at the ballot boxes, until that pendulum swings back to the right, we're going to continue to see the same shit. And even if it does go to the right, we're going to see probably the same shit again. But it's going to be less, and I get that. It's like, well, what's the point? Well, what are we supposed to do? You, you can't get violent. No, 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 you don't. Want, no, don't do it. Again, because that's what they want you to do. They want to create, they want to verify the narrative they're pushing out that we're all people who question the government are a bunch of evil conspiracy theorists. It's not a conspiracy theory. Just look what the fuck's going on right now. If I had an Alex Jones was right jar, it'd be filled the fuck up. So I guess in the short term, because that's where we're at, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen in six, seven months to six years from now. I don't know. But what you can't, but what you can't do is get violent. And again, I have to reiterate this. Don't post anything about it. Don't have any hot takes. Don't try to freaking piss the normies off. Or it's best to basically step back a little bit and gather your thoughts for right now, of course. Because th this short-term thinking will prevent you from going to fucking jail or having the Fed show up at your door. Because as long as you don't say it, as far as I know, there's no beam out there that can read minds yet. So just take a chill pill, kind of like, you know, you know, get with your family, just kind of like, because again, the government wants you to flip the fuck out. They want you to get pissed off. They're doing this on purpose to piss you off. Don't do it. And then big, t oh my God. This is gonna be, this will be another video. I'll have to do, but holy crap! It's about the YouTube uh, terms of service about the uh, the the virus of unknown origin. All of their what you couldn't say before, I guess you can say now. Again, these bastards want you to get violent. They want you to get upset. They want you to commit some sort of action. Don't do it. I cannot stress this enough. They want to throw your ass in a fucking jail. They want to put you there. They want to flip you so you can indict other people that may have the same sort of opinions. Don't let them fuck you over. They want to fuck you over. Don't let them.